how did it, uh, how did it feel to be back up? Uh, there's a lot of gratitude just to you know be present tonight with everyone, you know, and just go out there and have have fun doing what we love to do. You know, it was a not not so good first half for us, and, and we came in the locker room and we knew that. Um, you know, in order to build this identity uh, that we want to have later in the, later in the season, we got to start now. And uh, with me joining right now, I I feel like I have a voice to say things, but really it's just to add on to to what uh, Steve's been saying, to you know what our leadership's been saying on the team. It's just that we have to have a resolve, and we have to continue to do the little things, you know, boxing out, being there for our teammates, and, and just just playing with a strong face, you know. Just going out there and doing what we do. Curry, you had a, you had a bunch of different kinds of debuts throughout the touch of your career, but your life mm -hmm. you know, all the way back to St. Pat's. Does tonight compare to any one of those? Which one do you think would be the closest? <laughs> You're right. I, I've had a lot of debuts, but nothing comes close to this one. It, it just uh, it meant a little bit, a lot. It meant a little bit more. Uh, just because at this stage, you know, taking off eight months or, or being out of the game for eight months and coming back in, there's so much uncertainty. It's just how many minutes, you know, what's the flow of the game going to be like, you know, how are my teammates going to feel, and what's the game flow going to be. Uh, you know, you just don't have any idea. So I, I went in with, a, you know, just a just an open mindset, just to ground myself, be present, and, and do whatever it, it takes to win. I, I think in in the first possession when I shot that shot, I, I was so caught up in, in just making my first two points. You know, I was so, so nervous. Uh, and, and naturally, you know, as a performer, I still get nervous. Uh, but that first shot was like, man, I wanted that to go in. And then um, I settled down closer to the second half. Um, you know, when, once I came back out and, and I just said, well, whatever's needed out there, let's, I'm just going to do. And, and I know everyone's going to follow suit like, like they've been doing all season. Wow. Wow. An amazing impact, man. Just been on the bench for that long, um, but also playing the last few games and then coming in tonight. Uh, I'm sure he he had an idea that he was going to be kind of on the bench, and then he came in and made that big change. And when you when you have that that, that type of, of uh, resilience within you, it, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter at all. And he's been doing it for quite a while. I've been watching him since he was, you know, a junior, senior at St. Pat's. We talk about it all the time. And just to be at this level playing together, it's just real special. We don't take it for granted. Um, but to, to have him come out and make the impact he did, it's, it's really, it only helps us. It only helps us. You talked about settling down. And so what did it, how important was it for you to have the impact that you did at the end of that game in that long run? It felt good, uh, but it, it really just started on the defensive end. I think that's where we're going to make our mark is consistently climbing up into guys and making it difficult. Uh, you know, so me just watching at home, I've, I've just seen a lot of teams uh, be somewhat comfortable. And then we come to the bench and, and we're trying to get it going and we're playing from behind. Um, but you know, in this league, anybody can be beat on any given night. And, uh, you know, we, we have that target on our back. You know, we're one, two in the East. And, uh, you know, we have aspirations to be playing later in the, in the postseason. So I just think us settling in as a team and, and just being honest with one another out there, it helps. You know, that, that's, that's what we, we have all across the board. As you look at our, our team, we have a lot of veteran leadership. So, that, you know, the young guys are going to look to us and, um, you know, when we could throw them out there and, and just have them play with high energy and, and make high basketball plays, I feel like they're learning from us and we're growing as a team. Right, finish with Alex and then Nick. <clears throat> I mean, we with most of these guys before, but Steve even said some of the scheme had changed and there was some different things. I mean, did you feel any growing pains, whether it be schematically or going to play with the guys? Or pretty oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it, it honestly hit me in the first half when <laughs> we were just – watching Lance Stevenson give us his best rendition of, of his show, you know, and I told, I told Lance during the game, I was like, I don't think I've ever seen you have a 20 point quarter like that. And it just, um, his debut here in Indiana, uh, we knew it was going to be a big deal, but we didn't know it was going to come like that. And uh, 
we all took it personal uh, when we came out in that second half. So it, it just shows you that uh, anything can happen on any given night. And we want to be prepared and, and stick to our game plan that we have with our coaching staff and then also being able to make adjustments as, as players out there on the floor. Uh, so it felt good to, to just be able to do that at a high level and um, come out with the win. Man, I'm I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know, like I said, uh, you know, earlier in the season, it just it's not an ideal situation, and I'm always praying um, that things get figured out. And we're able to come to some collective agreement, uh, whether it be uh, with the league uh, or, or just things that's going on that could help uh, kind of ease what, what we're all dealing with, you know, with COVID and the vaccine. I think everybody's feeling it. So I don't want to make it simply about me and simply about, uh, you know, someone lessening the rules for me. I, I just I know that I know what the consequences were. I still know what they are. Um, but right now I'm just going to take it. One day at a time, like I said, and just enjoy this time that I get to play with my guys and, uh, you know, however it looks later in the season, and then we'll uh, address it then. Thanks, so there's, there's still a possibility. Huh? There's still a possibility. Oh, come on, man. Don't hang on to me. <laughs> <laughs>